How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here to talk to you about these Tama Metalworks steel snare drums. A great group of snare drums. As you can see, I'm sitting behind three snare drums here and you're probably asking, well, why are you sitting behind three snare drums? Well, for a few different reasons. Number one, they're all part of the Tama Metalworks line. So they have a lot of the same components, same, same shell, same lug design, same triple flanged hoops. It's just the diameter is different. All right, the second reason I'm sitting behind these three snare drums is to show you, you know, there's a lot of competition out there these days. There's a lot of great drummers in the world. And if you're a freelance musician and you're trying to get that gig, adding one little other little piece of gear to elevate your sound just to that next level that's just beyond the other guy, it might get you that gig. If you're in a band and you want to just elevate the sound of the band's recordings or the live gigs, adding a simple other snare drum to the mix could really go a long way. And the third reason is it's just a lot of fun to have these other tonal qualities at your kit. And it's really cool. I've been playing with a 10 inch snare drum on my side for many years now, and it's great to have it there. And you can use these smaller drums in a lot of different musical styles. It's great for rock, really, really good for funk and R&B music, uh, reggae and ska music, that kind of stuff. So they fit in a bunch of different musical styles. All right, so now let me get into the details of each of these drums. The main drum I'm sitting behind here is a six and a half by 14 inch, 1.2 millimeter thick shell, steel shell with a black nickel coating. So that's a really cool look to it. And chrome hardware, all the lugs and the hoops are chrome. So the, the, the difference between the black nickel and the chrome is a really cool look. Nice and aggressive look in my opinion. So you have eight lug triple flange hoops on this drum. There's a little bead going around the center of the shell here and the lugs are like a bridge style lug, so they go over, there's a little air gap going over the bead, so there's cool lugs, definitely nice looking lugs. You got Tama's really cool looking star badge there. The throw off is a nice pullback strainer, uh, very easily adjustable. And really that's about it. It's a very simple design drum, good snare wires on the bottom, so you got a really good crack. This, this drum has a nice kind of low, warm pitch to it. Let me show you how it sounds. It's got a nice kind of dark tone. You know, sometimes steel drums can be very kind of bright and kind of harsh. This one definitely doesn't have that harshness at all. It's got a nice crack to it when you play it loud. The ghost strokes, the softer strokes definitely stick out. And it's got a nice kind of big warm whoosh to it as you get from the as you go from the edge of the drum into the center when you do like buzz rolls and fast double stroke rolls. So it's a really, really nice sounding drum, warm, nice crack. Now getting into the 12-inch drum, it is a five and a half by 12 inch in diameter, 1.2 millimeter shell, same thickness as the 14 inch. You get six hole triple flanged hoops on the 12 inch drum. You have the same kind of bead around the center of the shell and bridge style lugs on this one too. Same pullback throw off and strainer as you do on the 14 inch. And it's got a really, really cool tone. One cool thing about this drum is that the snare wires are buzzing in a really pleasant way. The buzz kind of stuff really sticks out and you get a nice crack on the backbeat. Very cool. And then you want to do buzz rolls, you're going to get a great buzz. Really cool sounding snare drum. Okay, for the 10 inch drum, it is a 5.5 by 10 inch, 1.2 millimeter steel shell. So all the shells and all the drums are all 1.2 millimeters thick. This drum doesn't have the bead in the center of the shell, but it still has the same bridge style lugs. You also get six hole triple flanged hoops on this drum. The same pullback style strainer and throw off, very easily adjustable. The one difference with this drum is that you can also mount it on a cymbal stand. Let me show you. With the 10 inch drum, you get this MC69, well, tom clamp. You can mount tom toms and this snare drum. They put the tom mount, or in this case, a snare mount, directly on the drum. So you don't have to put it on a snare stand. I, and 
prefer having them on a snare stand, so that's why I have it set up this way, but you can set it up on a cymbal stand. You don't have to have it to your left. When you have this mount, you know, you could put the drum on your right, you could put it up high, up low, anywhere around the kit because you have this clamp. It's a really cool, convenient feature. Now, as far as the sound goes with the 10-inch drum, this baby has a nice, really tight crack to it. It's similar to like a marching snare drum, but it's warmer than that. Let me demonstrate for you. You know, a lot of marching snare drums, they have the high pitch crack to them, but they have no sustain. They don't, there's no sustain from the shell. But here, the steel shell kind of gives a nice ping to it, a nice kind of little bit of a resonance, and it's a, it's a really cool thing. Plus, you get the snare wire buzz, which is a great combination. The buzz stuff really sticks out along with the crack. So you get a great backbeat and the buzz. So let me show that to you right now. Really cool high pitch sounding drum. Okay, so that's the details of the drum. They're all similarly constructed, same thickness of shell, a lot of the same hardware components but they all have three distinct sounds. Let me get into those sounds for you right now. They're great to play in combination. Really cool for rock music. Really cool. Get to the little drum, you can play some really cool drum and bass style grooves. Yeah, very cool for funk and R&B, like I was saying. So many places you can take these snare drums together. Another cool thing you can do with these drums is actually turn the snare wires off and play them like that. Kind of a timbali-like sound you get when you have the snare wires off. So you can do kind of a cool Latin beat and maybe a solo over the top of it. Really, really cool tones and so many places you can take these drums. All kinds of different styles of music. You know, it's pretty much wherever your imagination will take you. All right, everybody, if you're looking for some really cool snare drums to add to your collection, whether you're looking for just a main snare drum that sounds great in a bunch of different musical styles, rock, R&B, funk, pop. If you're looking for a second snare to add to your kit, whether it be the 12 inch or the 10 inch, these Tama Metalworks snare drums can really add a great sound to your setup. Definitely worth checking out. If you need any more information about these Tama Metalworks steel snare drums in either the 10, 12, or 14 inch size, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.